a lot of hope is built for plasticity to help patient to recover and hope is made for neighboring neurons to take over the function and for axonal dendritic growth to happen in lacuna of the lesion. But what we know that hope remains hope and the stroke patient develops disability, dependency and handicap. I thought how about thinking beyond lesion and beyond dysregulation from the irreversible lesion. I wondered as it I wondered is it really the case that the patients forget the movements after stroke? If movements are not forgotten but are difficult because of the paresis, why do we attempt to teach movements and give motor relearning program when most movements are highly automatic and done subconsciously? I also felt strange about need to learn different tasks separately. I thought once again about how patient with stroke handled gravity when his both sides of body were available to counter gravity. That means when he was normal. And what does he do when only one good side is available? To counter the gravity. What does the brain do when patient is made to walk and climb stairs without preparing paratic segments to support balance and propel their body, rest of the body parts? Does brain automatically avoid paratic body for the postural safety? Brain being a problem solver, does it exploit other tools of the musculoskeletal system like phasia and connective tissue in cell safety? I could see the therapeutic actions taken by therapist almost goes in vain and patient develops disability and dependency. This made me realize that actions by brain are more powerful over any therapeutic action. Therefore, to make the brain work as we desire in therapeutics, we need to trick the brain to do what we want by designing therapeutics that has the same goal as the brain itself. We need to make sure the therapeutic goal and goal of the brain are in tandem. I saw that goal in therapy is to make the patient relearn movement, complete the task and give gait training etc. Whereas goal of the brain is to prioritize self safety. I realized that brain's goal is more powerful and the goal in therapy in comparison, I also saw that compensation happened automatically and compensation also was promoted in therapeutics to complete the task. I also saw that most patients look down on the support surface and use touch for balance safety, making vision and touch to compensate for poor proprioception from the paratic muscles due to loading difficulties. I wondered what happens to fear of falling when the center of mass height gets increased above the support surface and the base of support that reduces due to loading issues when the patient is made to walk. I realized that fear of falling became worst when standing and walking in comparison 
to when the patient was lying and patient became more defensive in self safety i asked why natural recovery results in invariant synergic grouping and not voluntary control i asked myself is it possible that this long standing thinking about lesion being responsible for complex symptoms needs rethinking could it be that lesion x as a catalyst for cerebellum on the side of paresis to get switched off to save tightly packed neurons in a small structure which is 1/10 the size of the brain development of diakesis that is reduced metabolism and reduced blood supply to cerebellum is a clear indication that cerebellum gets switched off when lesion strikes it is known now that cerebellum is responsible for many functions beyond balance and coordination with its connectivity with all different cortices and subcortical structures and spinal cord intricate connections of cerebellum with anticipatory postural circuits in brain stem and in other parts of brain for anticipatory feet forward control is critical for safety from falling during slightest movement of center of mass i thought why spastic muscle offer resistance to move why do all patients have loading and weight bearing issues why center of mass movement is restricted perhaps use of the good body for postural safety retains the center of mass on good side of the spine perhaps it makes anticipatory postural control on the paretic side of the body redundant i realized why natural recovery leads to invariant synergic grouping instead of restoring voluntary control i realized that brain in self defense exploits spinal plasticity with interlim knowledge and interlim sensation to group many paretic muscles together invariantly in synergic grouping to give stability and to prioritize safety while standing up and walking and climbing so it's easy to understand that the synergic grouping is not pathological as understood but it is functional it is the way how brain uses body to refrain the center of mass movement to remain within the safety limits of reduced base of support which reduces because of the paresis and because of the loading loading issues i understood that long standing understanding that brain is dysregulated due to lesion and regulating it is impossible when neurons die irreversibly this makes compensation the way to go in therapy vasa concept clearly understands that complex symptoms are not born out of dead neurons that is believed to dysregulate brain but it is brain's attempt to prioritize self safety by exploiting different tools that can help defend body com it is clearly understood that problem solver brain automatically compensates postural safety with use of good body and it automatically avoids paretic body in self safety it is also seen that the patients from developing countries learn to compensate on their own without any therapy 
whereas a patient from developed country learn to compensate in modern rehab facility plasticity makes them adapt to compensation adapting to compensation is negative plasticity which results in permanent disability and handicap compensation that happens by brain automatically to prioritize safety and compensation with supportive device like cane and crutch etc which is promoted in therapy for the functional goals bothered me and i asked what happens at the level of spinal cord when sensory input remains monotonous due to paresis and due to invariant grouping in paretic muscles and when anticipatory center of mass movement on the paretic side gets highly reduced in self safety i asked what happens to the spino spinal connectivity when sensory input is monotonous and compensation strategy using good body for postural control happens almost automatically to prioritize safety i realized that problem solver brain acts here and now with different strategies to solve problem of safety from falling not moving at all or restricting movements resisting movements are different defensive motor strategies cerebellar switch off opened a new window in my own brain to think of possibilities for switching on the cerebellum that can change all beliefs till date about irreversible lesion that dysregulates brain